Welcome, Moon and Star, to today's episode of History with Dagoth. Today's subject is Diogenes of Sinope. Now for context. Imagine you are just chilling in a park with your pals. Demosthenes and Epaphroditus, and then this guy shows up and starts masturbating violently. Yes, he was chill like that. Diogenes was born in Sinope around 404 BC but was later banished and fled to Athens where he took a tub for an abode. Apparently Diogenes discovered that he had no need for conventional shelter or any other dainties from having watched a mouse adapt to anything. No writings of Diogenes survive, but there are some details of his life from anecdotes, especially from Diogenes Laertius's book, Lives and Opinions of Eminent Philosophers and Some Other Sources. Diogenes made a virtue of poverty. He begged for a living and often slept in a large ceramic jar or pithos in the marketplace. He used his simple lifestyle and behavior to criticize the social values and institutions of what he saw as a corrupt, confused society. He had a reputation for sleeping and eating wherever he chose in a highly non-traditional fashion and took to toughening himself against nature. When Plato is asked what sort of man Diogen is, he responds, a Socrates gone mad. The shameless father of cynicism. One guiding principle of his philosophy is that if an act is not shameful in private, that same act is not made shameful by being performed in public. He is labeled mad for acting against convention. But Diogenes points out that it is the conventions which lack reason. Most people, he would say, are so nearly mad that a finger makes all the difference. For if you go along with your middle finger stretched out, someone will think you mad. But if it's the little finger, he will not think so. Elsewhere, disputes platonic definitions. And from this comes one of his more memorable actions. Plato had defined the human being as an animal, bite and featherless, and was applauded. Diogenes plucked Claude, a fowl, and brought it into the lecture room with the words, Here is Plato's human being. Here's your human, Plato. Look, Plato. A plant! Where the hell are we? Where's my sand of Istan, Plato? Behold, Plato's son, the monsters of the sea. Ah, Plato, we have met with a terrible fate. That was weird. Anyway, Diogenes has trouble finding humans that act with reason and expresses his sentiments regarding his difficulty theatrically. Diogenes is reported to have lit a lamp in broad daylight and said, as he went about, I am searching for a human being. He destroyed the single wooden bowl. He possessed on seeing a peasant boy drink from the hollow of his hands. He then exclaimed, Fool that I am to have been carrying superfluous baggage all this time. Diogenes is said to have eaten in the marketplace, urinated on some people who insulted him, defecated in the theater, and masturbated in public, and pointed at people with his middle finger, which was considered insulting. When asked about his eating in public, he said, if taking breakfast is nothing out of place, then it is nothing out of place in the marketplace. On the indecency of his masturbating in public, he would say, if only it were as easy to banish hunger by rubbing my belly. Diogenes was insulted with the epithet, dogish, and made a virtue of it, or whether he first took up the dog theme himself. When asked why he was called a dog, he replied, I fawn on those who give me anything, I yelp at those who refuse, and I set my teeth in rascals. The term cynic itself derives from the Greek word kinikos, dog-like and that from kion. Dogged. Diogenes believed human beings live artificially and hypocritically, and would do well to study the dog. Besides performing natural body functions in public with ease, a dog will eat anything and make no fuss about where to sleep. Dogs live in the present without anxiety, and have no use for the pretensions of abstract philosophy. In addition to these virtues, dogs are thought to know instinctively who is friend and who is foe. The meeting of Diogenes of Sinope 
And Alexander the Great is one of the most discussed anecdotes from philosophical history. Many versions of it exist. The most popular related is evidence of Diogenes' disregard for authority, wealth, and decorum. According to legend, Alexander the Great came to visit the philosopher Diogenes of Sinope. Alexander wanted to fulfill a wish for Diogenes and asked him what he desired. As told by Diogenes Laertius, Diogenes replied, Stand out of my light. There are conflicting accounts of Diogenes' death. His contemporaries alleged he had held his breath until he expired. Although other accounts of his death say he had become ill from eating raw octopus or to have suffered an infected dog bite. When asked how he wished to be buried, he left instructions to be thrown outside the city wall so wild animals could feast on his body. And that was today's episode. Smash that like button and look upon the heart.